Your Radiology for Medical Students Lesson 4, Cystography and Urethrography, Part 2. Review Cystography is useful in evaluating the bladder, the urethra and the competence of urethral valves that normally prevent reflux. Voiding Cystalrethrogram, VCUG. Of Cuckas 4 Phases Scout Film Filling Phase Voiding Phase Post Void Film Vesical Retro Reflux Abnormal Retrograde Leakage of Urine from the Bladder Up the Ureters Occurs when the ureter obstacle valve is incompetent. Associated with PL and Ephrathus Reflux Grading I, Ureter Only 2, Ureter and Pelvis, Fine Calices 3, Ureter, Pelvis and Blunted Calices 4, Flattened or Concave Calices 5, Large. Tortuous ureter. Let's see some more cases. Case history: Six-year-old white female has had three febrile urine infections. No other health problems. Family history is negative for urine infections. Exam: Healthy female. BP was 86/68. Normal abdomen and genitalia. Imaging: Her pediatrician ordered an ultrasound and cut. Let's see the cut. How did you do? Scout film, normal. Filling phase, bladder smooth, normal shape. How did you do? Voiding phase, grade V reflux on the right, grade I reflux on the left. Post void, reflux in the filling defect in the bladder. What's in the bladder? Identification of unknown's location, inside of bladder shape, almost round with regular, sharp borders density, low density. It doesn't show up on the scout film. It displaces contrast in the bladder summary, circular structure and the bladder in right reflux. Look at the ultrasound. If you haven't taken the ultrasound tutorial, go the noun to learn how to read kidney ultrasounds. How did you do? Focus on the right kidney. Size, 7.47 7 cm is normal 4 cm plus. 6 xh equals 7.6 cm. Shape, normal parenchyma, normal except in right upper pole, thin, hydronephrosis grade I in right upper pole and grade I in lower pole. How can you get two grades of hydronephrosis in one kidney? Ultrasound bladder, what's in the bladder? Unknown bladder object location, right side of the bladder. Remember that on an ultrasound transverse image, the right side is always on the X-ray left, like a CT scan, shape. Round on longitudinal round on transverse so it is spherical unknown bladder object density. Remember, this is an ultrasound, hypochoic, fluid, urine, summary, cystic, fluid felt, circular tubular structure on the right side of the bladder and right hydronephrosis, worse in the upper pole of the kidney to more things. A kidney with intravenous contrast, or a kidney with reflux, contrast filling the collecting system is normally between 3 and 4 vertebral bodies long on x-ray. Look at the right kidney. It's about 2 one slash to vertebral bodies long. Why does the kidney appear to be short when ultrasound showed the kidney was normal length? Axis of the kidney draw a line between the uppermost calyx and the lowermost calyx. A normal kidney lies on an axis parallel to the psoas muscle. The uppermost calyx is medial to the lowermost calyx. On the cog of our patient, the upper pole calyx is more lateral than the lower pole. Abnormal kidney axis Whenever you see a kidney with an abnormal axis, you should consider these possibilities. Duplication, two separate collecting systems. You may be seeing only part of the kidney fusion anomaly of the kidney where the two kidneys are fused, horseshoe kidney, or other fusion anomaly. Abnormal kidney axis duplication This is of cog duplication. Two separate valves and ureters, contrast seen only in the lower pole because that is the only ureter that has reflux abnormal kidney axis fusion this is an intravenous B allogram. The x-ray was taken after IV. Contrast. The two kidneys are joined at the lower pole. This is known as fusion. The lower poles are closer than the upper poles, just the opposite of the normal pattern. Let's get back to our patient why is this kidney short? Why is the axis abnormal on CUG? This film is from of CUG, so contrast only appears where reflux occurs. This child has a duplicated right collecting system, two completely separate ureters. Reflux is only present in the lower pole system. 
The upper pole system is connected to a ureterous cell. That ureter does not reflux. So, we're only seeing half of the right kidney. This is ureterous cell intravesical dilation of the distal ureter. Remember, it is within the bladder thought to result from a delayed rupture of Chbul's membrane, structure that governs the connection of the ureter to the bladder. Essentially an obstruction of the ureter within the bladder. Ureter a cell with duplication and lower pole reflux click to see the whole kidney. The kidney is actually normal size as the ultrasound showed, about three vertebrae long. We only see the lower pole collecting system on the cut. The upper pole drains to a separate ureter that ends in the bladder at the ureter a cell. That ureter a cell is the filling defect seen in the bladder. Nuclear cystography reflux can also be detected using nuclear medicine technology. Nuclear cystograms are performed in the same way as an X-ray of CUG except that radioisotope is instilled into the bladder through a catheter while the patient is scanned continuously with the camera. There are some significant differences between the two techniques. Nuclear cystography v. X-ray cystography nuclear X-ray kid factor 8 despise time 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Radiation lower higher sensitivity highest high resolution slash grading low high nuclear cystography nuclear cystogram as you saw, nuclear cystogram images are low resolution. They are very sensitive, but the detail is not sufficiently sharp to allow one to assign grading, international reflux study. Because the bladder and ureters are constantly observed during the study, unlike X-ray cystograms where X-rays are taken periodically. Nuclear cystograms can detect transitory reflux. Many pediatric careologists prefer to order an X-ray cut for initial evaluation and then use nuclear cystography for subsequent follow-up. Case history 10-year-old boy was hit by a car while riding his bike. He suffered no head injury and did not lose consciousness. He has severe lower abdominal and pelvic pain. Vital signs are stable. I feel like I've got to pee. His attempts at voiding are unsuccessful. A little blood, but no urine comes out of his urethra. Imaging? Trauma imaging The question we need to answer is, does this boy have a significant injury to his urinary tract? The trauma service ordered a contrast CT of the abdomen. Your urology resident suggests that you evaluate this boy's urethra and bladder. What imaging could define an injury? Film 1 retrograde urethrogram, contrast injected into the urethra, extravasation from urethral injury. Contrast is seen in the kidney collecting system bilaterally because the patient was given contrast intravenously for the CT scan. Suprapubic catheter he could not void and the CT showed a full bladder, so a suprapubic catheter was placed. Film to the suprapubic catheter was used to fill bladder for a cystogram no extravasation with the bladder full. Notice that the bladder neck is higher than normal. It's completely separated from the urethra. The bladder is teardrop shape, long and narrow at base, because of blood accumulation in the pelvis. Film 3 drainage film no extravasation from the bladder. There was no bladder rupture, his urethra is completely separated from his bladder urethral disruption. Management with his other injuries the best initial management is suprapubic catheter drainage for at least two months. Three months after his injury, your urology team repaired his urethra, reconnecting the two separated segments. We call this a urethroplasty. Today he has urinary continence. His mother gives you a big hug every time she sees you and she says, I thank God every day for what you've done for my son. Case history 26-year-old male was injured in a motor vehicle accident. Now in emergency room with multiple fractures. Exam, alert, pulse equals 110, BP equals 124 slash 80 to abdomen, generally tender, but no peritoneal signs the patient could not void. A retrograde urethrogram showed complete urethral disruption. How could you tell if he had a bladder injury? Imaging? He needs a cystogram because the urethra was separated from the bladder, a suprapubic catheter was placed. A cystogram has films from three phases, scout film, filling slash full and post drainage. In this case, of course, 
He can't void, so his bladder is drained by the suprapubic catheter before the final film. Cub, scout film cub, scout film filling phase drainage film traumatic bladder rupture like the last patient. This man needs long-term catheter drainage. After six to eight weeks the cystogram should be repeated to see if the bladder rupture was sealed. If the rupture had extended into the peritoneal cavity, then the bladder tear would have been surgically closed. Cystogram, review contrast is seen in the ureter or renal pelvis on VUG only when reflux is present. If the axis of the kidney is abnormal, upper pole more medial than lower pole, Consider either a duplication of the arena in pelvis or horseshoe kidney. Normal kidneys are about 3 to 4 vertebral bodies long when imaged by intravenous B-allogram or VCOG, if reflux is present. Review nuclear cystograms are sensitive, but don't provide sufficient resolution to allow grading. Radiation exposure is lower with nuclear cystography. Trauma victims with hematuria and slash or pelvic fractures need imaging of the lower urinary tract, cystogram and urethrogram, to detect urethral injury or bladder rupture.